Hi everyone, Drini here and welcome to my channel. So we're going to take a look at Gala again because you're probably getting very frustrated because when you search for Gala on YouTube, all the other analysis channels are telling you like, it's going to pump, it's going to pump, just wait, it's going to pump. Or we made the trade, this is exactly our call and we made profits. And it's probably pissing you off because you look at your portfolio, you look at your price action. If you bought Gala through the run-up, you'd probably be like, what the hell is going on? Where the price action does not meet whatever they're telling you. So if you want to know what's going on with Gala on a macro level, then you can watch the video that we made before right here. But today, let me just give you an update on some recent price action so that we'll take a look at it on the short term so that you really understand what's going on without any spiel, without any 50, 100x. This is going to overtake Bitcoin. You're going to be a millionaire by tomorrow, okay? So looking at Gala on a shorter time frame. So where I am, I am in the four-hour chart for Gala right here. So you, the, the most recent run-up that happened formed an Elliott Wave structure. So you have Wave 1 right here, Wave 2, Wave 3, Wave 4, and you had a very short Wave 5 before a sub subsequent ABC correction. And right now, we are in the middle of this ABC correction right here for this particular structure while being in a more prolonged ABC correction right here because of this five wave run up right here. So when you come back and you check out Gala's recent price action over the short term, just temper your expectations, okay? Because a lot of people will really tell you that Gala's gonna pump, it's gonna go to a dollar, it's gonna go to $10. When, of course, that's going to happen in the future, but right now, we are in the middle of a correction. So over the shorter time frame, this ABC correction is taking shape as a sideways consolidation right here. So the good thing about this correction for now is right now, the C correction hasn't really plummeted to much lower levels right here. Instead, what you have is a sideways action, which may be prolonged. But one thing to note is we have started to challenge the 55 EMA on a four hourly right here. So we are starting to break structure right here. And I did say in the last video that do expect to really explore this Fibonacci chasm right here, where we will most likely be playing around this space for a while before our continuation to the upside. Now, another pattern that's forming with Gala right here is you have a descending triangle right here. So a descending triangle is typically a bearish structure, but only once you break this particular support level right here, which is around 57 cents. For a descending triangle, what tends to happen is you initially start with a run-up and then price starts to oscillate, but it oscillates at narrower and narrower levels. Eventually, it's going to make a decision soon. So when that happens, you now have a technical target, whichever it breaks. Let's say it breaks down from here. This is the support level that cannot be broken. You have a technical target of around 37 cents. It also coincides nicely with this particular Fibonacci level that we have identified on the macro level. Also, this particular support zone right here. You may be wondering, if we break down from here, what's going to happen? One, it's not just going to go down here in one hour and suddenly you're blasting off into space. It will take some time to really get here where you have oscillating price like this, oscillating price, maybe you rally back up, but you're playing around with the chasm, etc., etc., until you reach a technical target and most likely bounce off from there. So that is the bearish case. The bullish case is slightly more tricky because with descending triangles, depending on when it breaks out, the trend line changes. So the longer we take, the lower the technical target. But if we break out now, for example, so let's say we break out around here, then you have a technical target of 86 cents. But if it takes a while to break out, like it takes a few days or a couple of weeks to do that, once we break out from here, then you have a lower technical target of around 82 cents. So the way it can work is you can have price oscillating like that, once it breaks out like this, probably backtest this particular trend line as support before continuation to meet this technical target right here, probably consolidate for a while before our eventual continuation to the upside. Another thing to note about Gala is because this is the ABC correction right here, so ABC, once again, C waves are very unpredictable. It is very, very hard to time where the bottom could be for the C wave. In fact, it is near impossible. What you want to wait for when it comes to the C waves is you want a trend break instead to the upside. So one thing about Gala's recent price action right here is it's actually in a descending channel right here. So price will start to oscillate around this channel right here. 
if we don't break out of this upper trend line, then expect that we, could, we will continue to play around in this particular channel. Otherwise, if it breaks out now, then that's good for us. So moving forward, what do you do now? If you're a long-term holder, well, nothing. Gala is still a successful project and you can use some of the scenarios that we played out to buy more. For example, if we eventually break the structure to the downside, then you have a respective tar technical target you can aim for. If you're a bit more conservative, once it breaks out and back tests it as support, then you have another buying opportunity right here. If it breaks through the channel that we have identified earlier, then if it breaks right here, back test it as support, then that's another buying opportunity right here. I don't own Gala, but I can imagine as a Gala owner, you're probably very frustrated at what you see online versus what's happening in the price. I just hope this helps in really setting your expectations correctly. When you have the right expectations for a particular project, it allows you to plan accordingly without the FOMO, without the hype, and really come at it at a very objective way. If you like that video, hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. If you also have other gaming cryptos that you would like me to look at, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll take a look at it in the future. Until then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.